technology has been around for many hundreds of years. The knife and the wheel were technology in their day. However, we tend to think of the term technology as an overall title describing any of the marvels that we have today. Such as the car, the stereo and the computer. In the mid-40s, the first electronic computers were invented. These computers were incredibly large and consumed an incredible amount of power. It would take several hundred modern computers to consume the same amount of power used by just one computer back then. In 1965, Lawrence Roberts connected a computer in Massachusetts, USA with a computer in California using telecommunication technology otherwise known as the dial-up network. Following this experiment, Roberts developed the ARPANET, Advanced Research Projects Agency Network, to be used within research institutions. It was this technology that led to the internet as we know it today, with the creation of the World Wide Web in 1991. The internet opened the doors to a marvel of information and opportunities for everyone. Email allowed instant communication in business. Communication increased to anyone anywhere in the world with an internet connection. Even families could now have instant contact regardless of where they were in the world, subject to having an internet connection of course. Significantly, literature of all kinds became available to all, opening the doors to an abundance of educational wants and needs. This led to an explosion in internet learning, otherwise known as e-learning, and the creation of a new generation of learners, known as the Millennials, or the Net Generation. This new generation of learners are more digitally minded. They have been born in the digital age, and therefore, using the internet and other technologies to enhance their learning experiences, or for play, is nothing more than the norm. It was these learners that led to the creation of the virtual learning environment, also known as the VLE. The VLE is a learning management system that uses software online to collaborate resources to facilitate learning. Not only used in mainstream learning at all levels, but also for distant learning and in work-based learning. These systems are designed not only to facilitate learning online, but also to enhance learning in the classroom, still using the internet. The VLE allows teachers to add content containing links directly to specific web pages. Other benefits include Uploaded files can be accessed by only those students allocated the privilege to do so. Printing costs are reduced as the files are held online and can therefore be saved to computers as and when they are needed, eliminating the need to print for reference. This also saves storage space on the network with the content being stored online. This is particularly beneficial as multimedia is a huge part of the national curriculum now, specifically in areas of information communication technology and media studies. Students can access the work from any computer in the world that has internet connection. Work is available during holidays and weekends, and during emergency school closures, such as bad weather. Students can also contact teachers when they need clarification about a subject. This is especially good if the teacher is absent from school or the school has been closed. Though many VLEs charge a fee for institutions to use them, there are a great deal of free ones available, meaning that the VLE is available to all learning institutions as cost is no barrier. 
But wait, despite the many good points for the VLE, surely there are also many negative aspects that need to be considered. Ofsted carried out an inspection of 35 learning institutions with VLE. They found that colleges made the most use of the VLE, whilst primary schools did not. Some were used as dumping ground for files that were rarely used or had little content on them. They discovered that the VLEs were used mainly by students on site instead of remotely, though not necessarily during lessons. Only one institution seemed to use the VLE across the consortium for diplomas for 14 to 19 year olds. They found that adult learners used the VLEs more effectively. Specifically, the most common factor with the more effective VLEs were those that had enthusiastic teachers in control of the work content. To avoid many of these problems, institutions need to ensure that when setting up the VLE, they take into consideration all aspects of effective learning. If not, they will reinforce and indeed worsen any previously made mistakes, which could result in the learners being unengaged and not achieving their full potential through no fault of their own. A good VLE would be one that incorporates distributed learning. This is learning that can occur anywhere and at any time, but incorporates exactly the same activities as would be used in a learning institution. Students today are without doubt computer literate. They live and breathe computer technology with the constant use of computers, the internet and wireless technology, allowing even games consoles to connect. It is easy to understand, therefore, why it has become necessary for schools and colleges to block a majority of the web pages available to them within their networks. They certainly contribute immensely to a student's learning, but can also be a hindrance through distraction and pose obvious safety risks. However, learning is a social process and for development to take place, the learning needs to be shared.